And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Connaughton in at the three slot. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Levert against Matthews. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Brooke Lopez. And before his scary foot dislocation in November of 2018, Karis Levert enjoying a breakout season. Greg even garnering some most improved buzz around the NBA. Yeah, and fortunately, the injury not as bad as it looked initially. Yeah, he's looking to continue that impressive trajectory. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Lopez. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. And no reason to settle in that situation. If they're going to give that up, he's going to take all of it. Well, Mike Budenholzer winning the coach of the year for the second time just has such a great mind offensively and came in with a, a new system for this entire roster, one that they embraced very early on. I think it was really important last year training camp establishing that type of confidence it carried them through for the entire year oh just solid on the one-handed slam and guys when it's a tight ball game like this he's the guy they want with the ball and the dunk by Chandler well when Wilson Chandler gets this deep inside he knows he can elevate and finish one off now a timeout called by Milwaukee and for the Milwaukee Bucks, Budenholzer are a big reason they were a top offense last season. Well, we talk a lot about Bud Ball. And you add Giannis Attentacumbo in there. And Bud's ability to pair Giannis's unique skill set to the way that he wanted to play, they really changed a lot of what they did offensively. And it felt very, very seamless. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connington. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. The feed to KD. And KD throws it down. And with KD, there's just not a spot on the floor where once he gets it, you don't feel like he's confident and comfortable to score. Tonight, inflicting some serious pain. Nets trail by four. Irving finds Levert. Basket good. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Kevin Durant. KD's got six rebounds here tonight. And it's Jordan, that time on the assist by Durant. KD's got his fourth assist in this one. A double-team Bledsoe to the inside. Lopez, count that one. Lopez has got five points in the quarter. Wow, Lopez stepping up. What confidence from the big fella. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. They got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Allen's checked in for Jordan. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Lavert. Mm -hmm. 
over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Lopez with the steal. Just waiting for a chance to make a play, and when the pass was made, he's all over it. Just a fantastic steal. Uh, Chris Middleton has been waiting for moments like that. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And the layup falls. Appreciate the mentality of Kyrie at this point. Embracing the moment. He'll take the big shot. Here's Budso. And Giannis gets it to go. Giannis has got 42 in the game. Uh, so exciting to see the growth of the Greek freak. There are shots that stars sink. And that's a momentum changer right there. Katie vicious to Allen. Out to the against Chandler. Just five on the clock. Pass to KD. And the foul called on Jared Allen. That'll be his second foul of the game. Milwaukee leading by four. Giannis is double. Lopez outside. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Back to Bledsoe. Shoots the three, and it's Chris Middleton with the three. Middleton's got the lead up to seven now for the Bucks. Well, Middleton hovers around that 40% mark from downtown in his career. It's a good-looking shot there. KD's shot is good. Well, anyone questioning Durant's killer instinct can stop right now. Wow. Here's Matthews. And they double up Giannis. Chandler with the steal. Here's Irving. Yes! Well, Kyrie's resume in these kind of moments is full. And the Bucks with possession here. Outside for Bledsoe. Chandler with the steal. In transition, here come the Nets. The open shot, Durant. Shot clock reset for the Nets. It counts! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Timeout called the Nets. They're behind by one. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Money! And that bucket was absolutely huge. A defensive stop now may just seal the deal. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by one. We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. It falls! Eric Bledsoe says pressure. What pressure? Take that. The three. Misses the three. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it.